This is a video for outcomes of posterior arthroscopic subtalar arthrodesis for middle facet talocalcaneal coalition. This is an example of one of our patients, a left foot. A middle facet talocalcaneal coalition is clearly visible in the CT scan. The Southman view is important to assess a neutral alignment of the hind foot. The patient is positioned prone. The operated foot is left free at the end of the table, allowing full dorsiflexion of the ankle and foot. It also must be elevated, allowing for fluoroscopy control. We use a thoroscopy kit with pump, shaver blade, radio frequency probe, osteotomes, curettes, and large diameter cannulated screws for subtilar fixation. Two portals are placed, lateral and medial to the Achilles tendon. We proceed with removal of fatty tissue, posterior capsule of the subtalar joint, removing the scar tissue from the posterior talar joint. As like any other posterior ankle arthroscopy, the FHL tendon is the most important anatomic landmark. We always work medial to the FHL. We routinely check the position of the instruments and the fluoroscopy control. Here, an osteotome is being used to mark subtalar joint. After optimal position confirmation, we proceed with removal of cartilage from the posterior aspect of the subtalar joint. We do not touch the coalition. As, as previously said, this is a neutral alignment of the hind foot, so we only remove the cartilage lateral to the coalition. Here, a synovial shovel blade is being used to remove all this tissue. This is a very stiff joint. We need to take our time to do this. But for those who love arthroscopy, it's a really a fun procedure. Here, a curette is being used to remove all the cartilage. Above, there is the inferior surface of the talus, and below, the superior aspect of the calcaneus. We try to get 2 mm of subchondral bone. We remove the large fragments of bone and cartilage. If small fragments of cartilage are left inside, there is no problem. This is the final aspect of the subtalar joint. And after this, we place our screws. Then, two weeks non weight wearing, and another six weeks weight bearing with walker boot. After this, he is allowed to full weight bear. So thank you so much for watching and good luck!